Hey guys, what up? It's Blue here, and today we are here with my Luger P08 that I made. Now, this is the very first video on this channel, and I hope you guys like it because my friend Lintel and I have a lot of plans for this channel. So, to start off with this, I want to tell you a little something about this. I made this, um, I'd say, maybe in the middle of April or May um, of 2017 uh, for a friend. Now, he didn't we, I wasn't able to get it to him, so it's just mine now. I, it's just kind of mine, uh, even though he was going to buy it from me, but that never happened. So um, I made this as a request, and I tried to make it as good as possible. And even though he wasn't able to get it, I think it was a good idea that I kept it because this is probably one of my favorite guns that I've made. So we'll look over it, and then um, I'll say some other things. So... I'll start off with the magazine. Now it's not all impressive. Um, I can, I'll tell you a little bit about how I made, how I painted all this, because yes, as you can see, I painted it all. Um, for the uh, magazine, this all I did was I spray painted it in a base coat of um, uh, just silver, and then after that, I took a plastic bag and I dabbed on some black. Um, now. I did stack on this one. I have multiple pa I have multiple ways that I make cardboard guns. Um, for this one, I um, instead of layering and stacking, I actually make a two uh, two layers, and then I do a border, and then I do kind of lattice work inside to give some strength and stability if you were to squeeze it. Um, but for this, I just made the basic pattern. Uh, about I think four times yep four times put two little circles there as the handles when you pull it out and that was about that it does get a little bit destroyed here but I'm thinking of going over that with some more um, cardboard now what I used to make this was regular uh, one layer corrugated and then I used cereal box cardboard for all the exterior except grips and anything else textured like that that's how I make my guns and I'll have a I'll have a whole video on how I make my guns, maybe a tips video or all that. Um, and then for the main gun, I'll just go ahead and put this in here, like that. There we go. Uh, for the main gun, I just what I do with most of my guns is I start off with the handle, then I go to the body. That's how I made this gun as well. Um, I started off with the handle. I made the I made the handle by itself and then I uh, made another one and then did lattice work inside of it but because there's a, a magwell I had to make two strips that go like that um, that guide this and it still gives it some strength and when it has the magazine inside of it it's a lot stronger and then for the grip I'm sure you can guess I just took a piece of corrugated cardboard ripped off the uh, top layer and then just to reveal the corrugation made sure it was all nice and clean um, and I put two pieces of cardboard here to act uh, to kind of look like screws and then two buttons here that are just glued in place to look like uh, like mag releases or something and for the uh, main body here I guess you could call it the chassis if you want um, I just like I said I always do make the same shape twice um, go all the way around it and then for here actually originally you could pull the knee joint back but it broke. I just ended up taping it and gluing it in place. Uh, so the rubber band and the knee joint still work, but it doesn't move, like I said, because it's um, glued in place. So for the top here, that's all glued off. I What I normally do is I kind of use the first kind of a gun that I make as a trial and error. And I did notice that I did make this top strip a little too long, so there is that weird bend there. But other than that, it's pretty good. I did make a yellow tip for obvious gun reasons if I ever want to make uh, use this outside in a movie or something. And for all these decorations on top, there are one, two layers, uh, or really three if you want to count the bottom uh, base layer. And then the first layer cons uh, consists of these two little buttons, I guess you call them, these two little mounds of hot glue that I just put on there and painted. Then you got this long shape here that goes all the way around. Um, 
and there is a little bit of a texture here and there um, that was actually supporting and hiding the joint for the knee. Um, and then after that we got the square on top and these two little rod bits right there. And then of course to top it off you have the basic most iconic look to the Luger which is the joint that goes all the way through here. Um, and then of course the barrel which is actually it's put in place and glued in with some little wood applicators. I'll pull one out and show you what it looks like. So this is what one looks like. Um, they're just pieces of wood that are just little dowels, little tiny dowels. I got a couple inside the barrel. I have one going the length of the barrel, uh, length of the barrel like that, holding it in place, and the barrel stops right there, and it's glued there along with the applicator stays right there that's glued all throughout the whole thing. So that's how I kept the barrel in place. And um, of course I just put on a sight. It's actually pretty stiff because I filled up the end with, let me see if I can get that to focus. Uh, that's probably not going to happen. But I got the end there filled up with hot glue so it's pretty sturdy. Put a little cardboard ring around that and that's about it. And as far as the painting goes, I'll give you a little bit about it. But again, if I make a tips and tricks video, I'll talk about it there. The body was a base layer. And I just covered it up with, like, I think it was cardboard and masking tape. I painted all of that black, and then I dabbed on uh, with a plastic bag some silver to kind of give it a, uh, a used kind of look, metal look. And then for the handle, it was a base coat of, li of a very liquid brown. And then I took a plastic... Um, uh, like, uh, what is it, like a um, cosmetologist glove or a latex glove. I painted my hand with black uh, just a little bit and kind of shook it and I just kind of went like that a bunch of times so it had uh, use marks like that on the back here, a little bit right there, and then on the trigger guard. Um, and again with the trigger guard I just took, uh, this is how I make all my trigger guards nowadays. I take a piece of cardboard, glue it, fold it in on itself, and then um, I separate two of the ends so I can fold them in on, uh, fold them outwards like that. Put a strip across that to hide it. Gives it more reinforcement there. But that is the premise of how I made this. Uh, if you'd like a tutorial on it, tell me in the comments below. Uh, do check out my regular channel, which is Blue Flame 414. That is a capital B in blue and a capital F in flame. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do drop a like. Share with your friends. Please do consider subscribing because my friend Lintel and I are trying to get this channel going. And we can't do it without your guys' support. So thank you very much. Um, and have a nice day.